Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. In your parts, you're going to find the transition stiffener. What this is, is it goes underneath this embossed wrap. Um, it makes this a little bit stiffer, so you can pick it up and handle it without crushing it. Um, we're going to cut this out with a ruler, and for these curved edges, we're just going to freehand it. So I start with the straight edges first, and I always put the ruler on top of it, so that if my, my knife strays away, it doesn't go into the part. And notice that my fingers, I spread them out as far as possible to kind of stabilize this so that it's harder to move around. We're also going to cut right here. Okay, save this part because you're going to need this for the upper part. Um, then we want to take this and we want to curl this. We want to do it very gently, not to crease it. And then take it, open it, and then curl the other direction. going to put this on my table just so that you can see what I'm going to do next. Um, we're going to take some we're going to take some rubber cement and the reason we're using rubber cement for this is that it's very flexible. Um, if you glue this using wood glue or white glue or super glue or anything else it's very rigid and what's going to happen is you're going to have a high point in your wrap and kind of like a point um, with the rubber cement it will conform real easy because the rubber cement is so flexible um, the way you use this is you paint it on both parts before you bring it together so I'm going to paint it on this edge and this is why I'm protecting my table here This as well, we'll paint the whole thing. Now this is going to take a few minutes to dry. Um, when it's dry, it's going to look dull. So if it looks glossy at all, um, that means it's still wet. Um, it's a contact cement, so as soon as the pieces come in contact, they're going to instantly bond. So you got to work slow. But the nice thing about this is rubber cement, once it's dry, you can take your finger and apply a little friction to it and it will ball up like in a little ball. And so you can remove it 
and then reapply it. So don't think you have to be perfect on the first attempt. Um, you can reapply it and get it to look really good. Um, so I'm going to just wait for this to dry and then I'll come back. The rubber cement is dry. So get this out of the way. Now this piece will go here and it's going to be right in the middle. So it's not over the edge. It's not at the edge. It's right in the middle. And when I want to do this very carefully, I want to get half of it down. Oops. Right there. Okay, so I got a little bit hanging that way and this side. And just press it down and you can see the excess rubber cement is just balling up. That's kind of how you remove it. You can leave it on there if you want, it doesn't hurt. Now on this side, what we're going to do is we don't want to just put it on. We want to come in at an angle like that. Um, so that we're just getting the edge lined up with this edge. So, so I'm kind of compressing it, bringing this side down lower, and then coming in at an angle. I'm going to line up the back edge first, and then just kind of walk it in, and then just let it flex up, and then press down like that. How easy that was. Oh, and it's not sticking well, which means I didn't get enough rubber cement down there. So I'm going to peel it up, take all the old stuff off, and then reapply it so that it sticks good well. Let that dry. Try it one more time. Okay, here we go again. Uh, that's better. So now it's sticking. And I got some excess rubber cement on the surface, and I'll just rub it off. Really easy to clean up. same on the inside if you want. It's not, like I said before, you don't have to. And then when you're done, see how nice that is? That's pretty. I want to take my upper section that we made before and I can slide it over the tube and see how nice that is right there. And then on this end, just kind of give it a spin to kind of center it up. And it should go over the edge just like that. Oop, I just pulled it off. And, um, and if it's not going over the edge, just remember, just sand that edge down so it gives it a little chamfer so that it will slide over. everything's right, there shouldn't be any gaps around the, that front edge. This one looks really nice.